but you get to change your actions and even change the actions of others sometimes if they're harming you. But you can't change the actions of a marmoset. They don't, you can't reason with them. They don't have wisdom teeth. Therefore, they cannot be wise. Bigotry against marmosets may seem a little bizarre because no, I'm, I'm the only one raising awareness on this issue. People don't understand the marmoset threat, the marma threat. Marma fascists will kill us, will take our children and turn them into marmo zombies. And if you don't see that this is the only form of bigotry that cannot be mocked, all humans have this shared interest in stopping New World monkeys from taking over the fucking world. Look, they're 20 centimeters long. They're just so small enough to fit into your ear and to eat through your brain and replace it with the zombie parts that they manufacture in their huge incisors. They want your spleen. They eat spleens. If you mix them up with fruit and, and insects or, or tree sap and you feed them to them. And part of the reason that people aren't bigoted against marmosets is because the marmoset army is not right now that well organized. And they're just beginning to organize, beginning to recognize they have a chance at world domination. And at the end of the day, none of these groups get it. They don't understand. The only threat that we really face is from the marmosets. Glossing over the real deeper bigotry, the real deeper threat, the real chance of, of the coming apocalypse. <laughs> Financial disaster. If the marmosets get into our banking industry, it's, it's going to be wretched. And, and you're either for us or against us. And if you're for them, then you didn't get this video, did you? Because the Marmo fascists cannot win. Do not become a marmoset. Don't, don't be their zombie. All right. Take care and stay strong.